guys, this is Miss McGuire. Um, today we're going to do a uh, cat along the lines of a famous artist uh, that we all know uh, by the name of Frida Kylo. Uh, we'll talk more about her later and some of the things that she did. I'll actually show you some pictures that, uh, that Frida Kylo did and show you uh, how this picture kind of is inspired by some of her her artwork. Um, we are going to, I want you to see this completed form of artwork before I begin because I'm going to teach you how to draw this and then I'm basically going to leave it uncolored uh, and you can do uh, yours from there. I'm hoping that when I uh, finish recording this that you're going to be able to see my colors. My cat is sort of like a really reflective uh, neon yellow and uh, her colors were very bold and they stood out. So uh, when you're coloring yours, make sure that you're doing that um, using bold colors, okay? You can tell in the background that she uses lots of sharp shapes with sharp straight lines and uh, that the cat has got a really narrow neck and the neck of this cat would not in real life hold up the head of that kitty cat. So this is not a realistic drawing, okay? This is a non-realistic drawing and it somewhat has some cartoon value to it and then again it has, it, it kind of reminds me of some stuff that uh, Picasso would do because Picasso also used those sharp lines and, and bold colors. So today the background and the way that you are going to uh, use your colors but this is all going to be up to you it's not going to be something that you have to mimic or or copy mine exactly you can look at this picture and come up with your own background we are going to start with the cat the cat's body and the cat's tail and then we're going to add the shapes in the background the next one that I do may not look like this one at all okay it may look totally different because I cannot um, redo a piece of artwork and make it look exact unless I traced it and I'm not going to do that here. So I'm going to move this to the side and we're going to do this one together. Um, I'm going to put another piece of paper underneath here so that it doesn't bleed onto my table. So I'm going to use a black marker. Like I said in the past, if you feel comfortable using the black marker on the spot, you can do that. And if you don't, you may do pencil and then trace it with your black marker because all of this will need to be outlined in black okay so we're going to start with this cat's head and the cat's head is sort of tilted okay and we're going to start with the line that goes in the middle of the cat's ears and then both cat's ears are pretty much just basic triangles without bottoms okay and then we're going to come down and you are going to make an oval for his face and connect one triangle to the other, okay? Now we're going to make his little skinny neck and then that neck is going to lead into a body that sort of reminds me a little bit of a Hershey Kiss, okay? And then we're going to come down here and you're going to bring your tail up and you're going to make it curl and then you're just going to basically come right back out of it again and make it a double and come back to his body. He has two small paws that are in the shape of pretty much circle. Circles here at the bottom of his, or the base of his body with three lines that show paws. I'm sorry about okay. that. All right, so I have added football shapes or lemon shapes for his eyes and he does have very large eyes. So don't be afraid to make those extra large. They have a circle in the center of those football or lemon shapes. And then there's a really tiny circle in the middle of that big circle, okay? You know, basic triangle shape for its nose, upside down triangle like a pizza slice. And then there is two lines that do this for his mouth. And then of course he has three whiskers that come off of each side of his mouth, okay? Now that you basically have that kitty cat shape, now you are going to add in the shapes in your background, okay? Uh, I had a circle up here in uh, my first one, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. You do not have to do that. You can make a circle here if you want to, and it can be smaller. 
Um, I had drawn like a circle around his body starting on each side of his neck that went through his tail and all the way around. So that would be one shape. Uh, I also had taken the uh, fat tip of my marker to make a fatter line and I had come up here like this and made sort of like a triangular shape that went around his tail and then back to his body. And then, then he had a lot of little curly cue like um, curled lines that made sort look like sort of like grass okay so he is going to have those and you can also put them over top of his body these can be overlapping his body okay All right, and so then I've got three of them, and I think it would probably look good if we could bring one back here behind him, okay? And we're going to do a lot of overlapping here, okay? All right, so we've got some basic shapes in the background. Don't overpower it. You don't need a lot. Um, you can get too many and then it takes away from the basic uh, emphasis of your picture which is the emphasis is your subject which is the cat so now what you're going to do is basically going to uh, the only thing that you're going to fill in dark black would be this great big circle leaving that small circle in the center for color okay and you're going to fill in this and you can use markers on this if you want or you could use all crayons or you can use both I used both. I'll pull my other one back over top of this again and show you that I used both. Um, you can see the lines of your marker. There's my Molly again. But anyway, you all finish up your artwork and enjoy, enjoy creating. And as always, send me some of your beautiful pictures. I hope you're doing well.